Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike, and thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. You know, I, I hope I hope that all of you had a chance to attend our Connect Wednesday session yesterday and hear what our guest Chris Snow had to say and hear his uh, strategies, opinions, observations on online lead generation. And I hope you found it interesting. And I hope that some of you found some actionable ideas built in there and got a good view at the strategy. But I had a, a question asked of me last night that I thought it was, Leanne Maxwell asked me a, a question that I kind of woke up thinking about this morning. And I'm gonna paraphrase her question because I'm not gonna get it word for word exactly right. But her question was kind of like, do you think everybody should do that? And uh, my answer to that is no, I don't think everybody should do it. I think some people should do it. And I think some people that don't want to do it should do it. So let me tell you what I mean by that this morning, okay? Uh, it's interesting to see the reaction. So yesterday at the end of the session, I asked Chris, hey, if I wanted to sell two homes a month, if I wanted to sell two homes a month, how much money should I spend on on ads, online ads, like Google click ads or Facebook ads, that type of thing. That's what we've been discussing yesterday, right? And his answer was, I think you should spend three to four hundred dollars a month to probably generate roughly two transactions a month. And the reaction within our group is very interesting to me. One reaction is, well, that's crazy. I can't do that. I can't afford to do that. I can't spend three to $400 a month on top of everything else now. I can barely cover my expenses and just like, well, that's just unthinkable. Okay. Well, my reaction to that is, okay, so let's round up. It costs $400 a month if you do it or if you don't do it. And people just kind of stare at me. I'm like, well, if you do it, it does cost $400 a month. Well, Mike, that's $5,000 a year almost. I'm like, gotcha. That's what it costs if you do it. What's it cost if you don't do it? Two transactions a month. That's what you're paying. If you average, and we do here, our average com gross commission income to an associate per closing is roughly about $10,000. So if you do it, it costs $400 a month. If you don't do it, it costs 20,000. So I, I find it interesting the ways that humans approach, the different ways they approach the same issue. On one hand, you've got people saying, well, I, that's not even possible for me. That's completely out of the question. And then on the other hand, I had a number of people say, really? Like, I've got to start doing that immediately. Like, I have to do that. I go, well, I don't think you have to, but I think you could. And then Leanne's question at dinner last night was, do you think everybody should? Well, should is a very parental term. So I try not to talk in terms like should, must, ought to. Uh, because each of us is our own business and each of us has to make that decision. What do I think? I think some people it would be a good idea. I think for, I told Leanne, I said, I could, you want to know what I think you should do? And she wasn't quite sure. I was like, I think you should. Why? I think you have really good soft skills and I think this for everybody that this is true for. I think you have really good soft skills, which is to say, I think you're pretty good at interacting with people. I think that if you can get people on the phone, that you're gonna have a good, strong conversation with them. I think you're a full-time agent. I think your business is a priority and a focus for you. I think you're taking this seriously. Um, I think you will follow, probably follow all or most of Chris's suggestions. You'll build systems. Uh, you'll have operating procedures for this so that things flow in a very organized, efficient way. 
I think you will, as a full-time agent, I think you will probably put the effort in to master your talking points so that each lead opportunity is run in a very efficient, organized manner. So for you, yes, I think you should. For others, um, maybe real estate isn't your priority in life. I'm not judging that, but maybe that's true. Maybe real estate is kind of important to you, but it doesn't rank in the top two or three items on your priority list every day. There are other things that will always trump your real estate business. Um, okay, then probably not. Uh, if you're not looking at real estate as a business, if you're not running it like a business, which that would mean that you're not going to follow Chris's suggestions and you're just going to spend money, but you're not going to have an organized way of handling the opportunities that are generated. You're just going to catch them as you can. And you're just going to try to chat people up on the phone. You're just going to rely, and you might have good soft skills too, but if you don't have an organized way of going about it, a very defined group of talking points and a way of moving people through the process, uh, then no, I don't think you should do it. Um, for some people, they're just not oriented that way. If you think that three to $400 a month is way too much money to generate two closings a month, then you shouldn't do it. Um, you're not ready, you're not mature enough as a business person yet to do that. And the investment to you, the obligation of three to 400 a month would really bother you and cause you to lose sleep. And to that I say, I don't think you're wrong, I just think you haven't matured yet as a business person and you're not ready for that concept. So I think the answer to Leanne's question is, no, I don't think everybody should do it. I think some people would really benefit from it. I think some people wouldn't benefit at all. And I think most people would spend the money and then not get the results and get really frustrated. And to that middle group, I'd say, see, you can't just take the parts of the conversation yesterday that you really liked. You can't just spend $400 a month and get two closings. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> I think we wish it would, but it doesn't. You're going to have, for that middle group, that's what they want. They just want to spend the $400 a month and show up to two closings. No, you're going to have to build a process, and you're going to have to follow it, and you're going to have to commit to enhancing your skill set. And I'm not sure how many people are actually going to do that. So, uh, should some people do it? Absolutely. Should Leanne do it? Absolutely. Should most people do it? Probably not. Not ready for it yet. Could be something we look at in the future. Which is better? And we've talked about this this week, right? The earn it or the buy it? Well, again, I think it depends on who you are. Some people just won't earn it. They just will not do the activities every day. Okay, then I think you should strongly consider the buy it, which is what we discussed yesterday with Chris, and I'm glad to sit with you and go over that and decide if that is right for you. Some people aren't going to buy it, because they just can't wrap their brain around uh, the risk. That I could spend a lot of money, what to them is a lot of money, and I might not get any results. And that's called risk. And to you I say, okay, then don't, but earn it. That is, get your activities done. And to some of you, and this is a small number, um, your goals are bigger. Real estate's a career to you. You're trying to accomplish something in this business. You're trying to build a strong, robust, reoccurring business. To you, I say this, do both. Do both. Spend your morning hours, anything that starts with an AM, your AM hours, earning it, getting your daily business building activities done sometimes known as prospecting, right? 
Spend your morning doing that. Spend your afternoon with appointments and administrative activities. Have a paid lead generation program running in the background. Uh -huh. And that's how you build. And those of you that are really looking for 25 plus closings a year, that's who I'm talking to right now. You want to try to do both. You want to earn it, and you do that in the morning, and you want to buy it. And the buy it's running always in the background. Hope that makes sense to you. Um, I'm here. I'm eager to talk to you about it. Rob can talk to you about paid lead generation, like how to actually implement it, the how part, like what buttons to push and levers to pull. And I'm here to talk to you about the strategy of it, the concept, and whether that or something else is right for you. Because we're all different. We all have different strengths and weaknesses. And the same answer, Leanne, to answer, finally answer your question, it's not the same answer for everybody. It's just not that easy. But I'm here to help if you want to talk about it. And folks, this is what we're talking about. This is how we go out and make it happen for ourselves each day.